From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeartMedia Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. I've got Betty Mitchell. She is the uh, CEO and uh, top executive at Live Aid Foods. This is, uh, again, groundbreaking stuff. Betty, welcome to the show. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, Michael. And, and I'm not the CEO. I'm the FDM, Michael, final decision maker. Okay. <laughs> I got one of those in my life, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, final decision. I love that. <laughs> All right, Betty, uh, you you need to tell us what you're doing and, and how you're helping humanity, not just with health, but also with commerce and how you're putting people to work. For first, let's, let's start about you. Give us your background and how you got into uh, and came up with Live Aid. Well, I, I started uh, compounding herbal uh, supplements pretty much when I was 15 years old. My uncle, who uh, had a PhD in physics, uh, got me going, and um, I just did it as an A vocation for many years, and then uh, it turned into a vocation pretty much at the age of 50 when I was uh, in San Francisco visiting a medical type thing and uh, met two doctors from West Africa talking about Moringa Olafero, this wonderful herb they were using like medicine. And um, I asked one of the doctors, you know, the, the Live Aid, I, I kind of put together a team in 2010, but I'm, I'm going to back up to 97. And I said, look, send me some of that. They sent it. We lab tested it. Uh, blew us away. We thought we got the wrong thing. Uh, we lab tested it twice for the nutritional uh, uh, content. We were stunned. Never seen anything like it in my life, but I knew it was something beyond pale. So we, we contacted the other doctor from, not Ghana, but Senegal. We said, could you send us a kilo to make sure we, we didn't mess something up, Michael? <laughs> mm -hmm. We tested that kilo of Moringa Olifera powder, and it, ounce for ounce, it tested out the same way. And here's, it, here's what's interesting. Ounce for ounce, uh, Moringa powder contains two times uh, more protein uh, than yogurt, three times more iron than almonds, uh, nine times more iron than spinach, and, and three times more vitamin E. Uh, four times the potassium of bananas, uh, four times the fiber of, of oats, uh, seven times the vitamin C of oranges, ounce for ounce now, and four times more protein than milk, and four times more vitamin A than carrots, uh, and, and every amino acid and 46 antioxidants. How do I get my hands on this stuff? <laughs> Hey, go to Live Aid and click the top right corner and join our Indiegogo campaign. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, all right. Now, um, you've got an interesting story. You're the seventh of 12 children growing yes. up on a farm in rural Arkansas. <laughs> Outside of Little Rock, a small town called Moralton, Arkansas. Uh, we didn't quite get to Little Rock too often. You know, the, the horse and buggies didn't go that far. Tell me about Uncle Ben. <laughs> he was my uncle. He was this crazy guy who was a, a, a physicist, a Ph.D. He taught at the local black university. And he just believed in natural medicine through and through, way back in, you know, the 60s and the 70s. He believed in it. Uh, and he's kind of like, he took me under his wing as the person to educate and extend all of his knowledge base to so I can carry it on. You know, you, you'll find that in many traditions where they'll choose a person, a child, or someone to extend their knowledge base to for them to carry it on once they're no longer on this earth. And he chose me as that person. All right. So he handed it, handed all this down to. You. Let's let's get into the company bio and what 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 Live Aid is all about. What you do because it's more than just uh, taking this compound of the moringa blend. Yes. And and helping people improve their health. You're doing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I put together a Live Aid Live Aid team of baby boomers. <laughs> You know, because, you, you know, in the beginning of starting the company, you're going to need a whole lot of, uh, of free, hardworking, good, dedicated labor. And I put together the Live Aid team, and um, we created the Live Aid, of course. We, we put it together. 
Um, we we work with uh, nonprofits who are already on the ground, boots on the ground, as they say, in developing nations of what they needed. Um, and so they send us back this email. They say, you know, in developing community, communities where the water, you know, access is, is limited, they asked us to take the Moringa powder and turn it into something, um, uh, increase the, the, um, the ability for the powder to be traded, you know, better. Mm-hmm. So in doing that, what we did was we created a powder uh, that would uh, maintain the, the super, nu- super dense nutritional benefits of it, uh, mix well and taste good. That's another thing, you know, when you're, you're cooking. Uh, use minimum water, minimal water, you know, in their communities. Um, appeal to uh, adults and children. Children's got to like. Children have to like what they eat. And but but the biggest thing, Michael, it had to be easily transported into neighboring communities where they could sell it. You know. Right. And so that's that's what we create, and that's how Live Aid came about. Uh, it took about ten, <laughs> you know, different kinds of of um, compounds. I mean, we worked at it a while, but we ended up with. Um, Live Aid, kind of after the 1985 concert, you know, with Freddie Mercury and Queen. Right. Yeah, we kind of took that energy because, you know, we were all like in our 20s then, you know. So we kind of took that energy on and we created Live Aid, L-I-V-E-A-D-E, Moringa Blend. All right. Now, you're also helping uh, people, you know, create farms. Yes. You're, you're galvanizing communities. Yes. Let's go in there. Well, the people who are benefiting the most are women farmers. Um, uh you know, these family farming uh, ladies, uh, you know, they're farming moringa trees, they're building schools, stable housing, uh, galvanizing communities, structuring financial safety nets for themselves. Um, you know, and women farmers with children are our leading request. Women who are living on the margins with children in developing nations, nations they are the leading request uh, for, they're, they're leading the request for uh, farm assistance. And what we do with the moringa here in the U.S., we, right now we're just online. And we're trying to, you know, again, expand out into, uh, you know, retail. But right now we're just online. And what we do in selling a moringa, like one jar plants two trees. Selecting one jar plants two trees. Okay. In any given community, you know. And it starts a cooperative. It creates sustainable incomes and, and you know, changes these communities of uh, generations. Uh, by by breaking the vicious cycles of poverty, you know. Well, you're focusing on women farmers. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, w- let talk to me about why you're focusing on women farmers. You know, they tend to be more knowledgeable about crop varieties. Um, they are really the boots on the ground. Uh, they tend to have an, an in-depth knowledge about the soil. It's, it's amazing, you know. Most of these uh, communities are patriarchal, you know. Right. But um, but I tell you what, the Guardian dot com. I don't know if I can say that, but go to the Guardian dot com backslash women farmers. They they have some wonderful in depth articles that that do um, you know the emerging sector of women farmers and developing nations. They do it. Uh, uh, they do it much better justice than I can tell you over the radio. Yeah, but you're not just doing this in the United States. You're yeah. you're doing this on a global scale. Where where are you starting these these uh, uh, these farms? Uh, there's one that's that's kicking off pretty good here in uh, going towards Southern California. is is in a hot house. Um, uh, Thrivehive dot com. They've got a farm there. Their uh, Miringa farm that they are producing out of and it's it's a it's a pilot project um but it's the first one i'm active in you know truly active in here in the the united states to see you know uh how well the trees will grow but they're doing pretty good they're the trees are growing well again they they reproduce quickly they require very little water or space uh you know when you say little water little space what do you mean that's very important to developing communities you know where access to clean water sources are limited you know, and and space Cal- very much, you know. California is a limited. good example of that. I'm sorry? California is a good example of that right now. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, well, they're growing it in a, um, you know, a hot house. They're growing it inside 10,000 square feet. I think I, when, when we spoke earlier, you were talking about being able to create uh, commerce and create farms yes. in places that are very impoverished, you know, like yes. Africa. Yes, West Africa, but they're also... Uh, in Nicaragua, mm-hmm. uh, also in some parts of South America, Ecuador, they're down there now. Uh, it's just where the NGOs go 
and they tell us, and again, we sell the Moringa, we're, you know, creating for sure a larger market, you know, here in the U.S., but we sell the Live Aid to, to supply them with the funds, uh, to supply them with uh, what they need to, to uh, educate, to, to, you know, to get the farms going, literally. This sounds like from soup to nuts. No, no, yeah. no, no, no pun intended on this. Hey, we, we've <laughs> got to put it in soup now. That powder, our powder, is so light, and it's undetectable in food. Just put it in your gazpacho or your soups. You know, yeah, it goes right in there. Well, you know, let's do this. Let's take a break now. And on the other side, I wanted to get into some of the recipes because you, on your website, you've got recipes, you got all yeah. kinds of stuff. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back on the other side of this break with Betty Mitchell, the final decision maker at Live Aid Foods. And the web address for her is live, excuse me, let me get this, liveaid.com, L-I-V-E-A-D-E.com. We'll be right back on the other side of this break. Money Sense has moved. Jim LeCamp here. And I'm Pat Riddell, and we've got a new time right here on KFXR. Noon to one, we'll talk about markets, investments, current information that you need to know. Everything from personal finance to investments to money to markets to policies. It's a midday macro lunch you won't want to miss right here from noon to one. That's Money Sense for your midday market lunch right here on KFXR 1190. Or listen to the podcast on money-sense.com. Money-sense.com. This is Dr. James, CEO and founder of Diamond Physicians, a direct medicine practice that combines exemplary customer service, state-of-the-art medical technology, compassionate physicians, and 24-hour medical access to revitalize healthcare delivery in America. Diamond is searching for investors to join the solution for rising healthcare costs. We have reached a paradigm shift in the healthcare market. Now is the time to invest in Diamond, a brand that has gained national attention by delivering affordable concierge medicine. Visit diamondphysicians.com backslash franchise to learn more about franchise opportunities. Did you know that FanDuel has more players and pays out more money than all the other daily fantasy sports sites combined? Yup, FanDuel is without doubt the leader in one-day fantasy baseball. And FanDuel is paying out up to $2.5 million every single day this baseball season. That's more than any other fantasy baseball site in the world. If you're into fantasy baseball and you haven't tried FanDuel yet, you're missing out on the hottest thing in fantasy sports. You play in one-day fantasy baseball leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. And there's no season-long commitment, so you only play when you want. A 28-year named Eric Hafner turned $125 deposit into over $62,000. Damn. And he's not alone. Over 1 million players have already won money playing fantasy sports at FanDuel.com. Plus, right now, FanDuel is giving you up to $200 free. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to $200. The only way to get up to $200 free is to go to FanDuel.com. Click the microphone in the upper right corner and use the promo code 2323. That's F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Promo code 2323. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever before. Don't miss this 50-bottle giveaway. We're giving away two free gifts with the first 50 risk-free trials of Proactive Plus. It's our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. The 50 trial kits of Proactive Plus with free shipping won't last long. Call 1-800-757-6912. 1-800-757-6912. 1-800-757-6912. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. And tell them Yorva sent you. From the Talk Radio 1190 Weather Center, this update is brought to you by Unbound. Partly sunny today with a high in the upper 60s. Cloudy tonight with a slight chance of rain and a low around 51. Join Unbound in seeing that every child has a chance to complete their education. Unlock the greatest natural resource, the power of an educated child to change the world. Sponsor a child at unbound.org. 
Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through Yorba Media. All right, I have Betty Mitchell, final decision maker at Live Aid Foods on the show with me. We've got a, a new way to improve your health, but it's been on my mind for, for a lot lately. All right, Betty, let's get into uh, the Moringa uh, plant, the blend, how you use it, and, 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 and the benefits that you get from it. Well, Live Aid Moringa blend is, is the first and original uh, multi-use food powder, and you use it by just taking the powder Add it to any given recipe that um, doesn't require a lot of heat. Um, it can go up to 350 degrees in the oven if, if it's something that you can put in and take out within 10 or 15 minutes and maintain its nutritional level. Um, it's, it's, it has only five ingredients. Uh, mm-hmm. That's moringa, organic maca root, vitamin D, which we added, uh, rice pro 1000, and whole grain sprouted brown rice protein. It is, it is a, uh, it's undetectable in food. Uh, the, all the ingredients that are in it are recognized uh, to reduce your risk of, of uh, everyday type of um, health issues such as weight, metabolism, digestion, detoxifying your body, energy maintenance, um, overall proper nutrition, and proper glycemic levels. And really? people, here's what's fascinating about all, pretty much all uh, dense nutritional powders. Virtually, I say 30, 35% will always use it in a smoothie. Okay. Instead of just putting it in the food, we put it in banana puddings. We put it in homemade granola, uh, what we call our pin bars, protein, energy, nutritional bars. We put it in that. You know, it, it goes in pretty much anything. All right. Now, so you can put, use it on anything, and it's good for everybody, inc- I, I, I would assume, inc- including your, your pets. Yes. Oh, yes. We, we get emails <laughs> from people uh, talking about their pets, and you can put it in their food. It's, 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 you know, a lot of folks, regardless of what you see on television, a lot of folks still feed their their pets from the table, the dinner table. Mm-hmm. Well, let's. You, you've got some accomplishments that you've uh, you've had up till now, and some goals that you're going to achieve going forward. Let's talk about those. Well, we we our biggest thing right now, our number one goal, our number one goal is to to have live aid uh is to build a strong awareness of the moringa product in the u.s to support a, an accelerated uh, pace of grower uh, training and development um and through live aid moringa Molina sales uh in the u.s you know we'll provide additional education seeds and funds it just accelerates everything everything now you're you've got through indiegogo a crowdfunding um yes uh, uh, push to to raise some money how much money are you raising for we're this? trying to raise ten thousand and that will help us uh finish off everything and accept a wonderful invitation from one of the leading natural food retailers to go on retail shelves here in the u.s which will just um it, it, it you know it'll bring it the moringa blend uh to everyday living onto the dinner tables uh and into health food stores throughout the u.s we want everybody to to experience this wonderful product why did you choose Indiegogo? I, you know, I, I just, I've donated many times through Indiegogo for projects, and I just liked it. I liked everything about them. I liked, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to do proof of concept if you've got a product. We knew we did all right online, but we're trying to go retail now, again, to accelerate the process of growing development and education. And uh, we just we just picked Indiegogo. Are you going to stay with um, buying the product through you directly, or you you plan to try and get it out on uh, market shelves? We want it on retail shelves. That's the whole Indiegogo push is to uh, put together enough funds to finish off the polishing of everything. The product's done. We got a new label coming out, which is on the Indiegogo campaign, the Live Aid Indiegogo campaign. Um, the the packaging, everything. This is just getting out that first shelf run. And okay. once we get that going, Michael, we're good to go. Okay. All right. And one jar plants two trees. I, I, you're <laughs> I was going to go there about that. How long does it take to grow the the trees? Anything special that needs to get, you know, because I, you know, I, 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 I have a girlfriend and she, uh, she is big on the gardening thing. So I, I'm starting to learn more about that. What's it take to grow a tree? Well, with- she's here in the U.S. And again, we're, we're just 
with the, the thriveacres.com project, we're just really, really testing out how to grow mm-hmm. uh, here in the U.S. But it can grow. It can grow. But you you got to be a lot more attentive, uh, you know, in, in a home type situation to the product, of course, the saplings, mm-hmm. than you would in a developing nation where it's it's a natural habitat. Okay, where what what is a natural habitat for for the moringa tree? You know, arid places, great soil. You got to have great soil. Like Ghana has some of the best soil in the world, but it grows all over the, the continent of Africa. Mm-hmm. It grows near the equator very well. Like Ecuador, it grows very well near near any kind of volcanic. Um, you know, uh, uh, soil. I would think that the health food companies, you know, because I was just at the gym earlier today and there's magazines of all kinds of health food products. I would think that those those types of uh, companies would definitely want to have this as part of their nutritional blend. Well, they, 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 you, there's a lot of research going on with it right now. There are a lot of hospitals. Um, they're, I think they're interested. I think like anything, I think they're interested, but you know, like any, you know, train leaving the station, it takes a long time to get to a destination when you're trying to create a product. And we've already created it, so we're about 18 months ahead of anybody else getting anything out there. It's, oh. it's work. It's work putting together a really solid product. There's a lot of work involved in it, Michael. I'm sure there is. There definitely is. Okay, so you've you've got the 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 plants that you can buy, and then you also have the powder that you can buy for your for your home use, right? Yes, yes. Coming up through ThriveAcres.com, you'll be able to buy saplings. Okay. You'll get saplings, yeah, online. You get them online. Uh, how long have you been uh, using this yourself? Since 1997. <laughs> what, what, are there any noticeable changes that you've seen from using uh, the Moringa blend? I have. I have. I, and the biggest one is just, I just turned 55 last month. I swear to you, I feel like I'm 22. Easy. Really? I, I just, I can tell. When I go to my doctor, have my annual comprehensive metabolic panel done, um, he constantly jokes about what I'm doing. You know, and everybody should have that done once a year to find out what's, you know, in your body. But it's just, yeah, I, I, I know the difference in my body. I know, you know, I feel great. I just feel great. And I should have a lot of ailments. I haven't had a cold. I mean, I hadn't, you know, since, God, since forever. Okay, so this really increases the ability for your body to fight off diseases that are, are, are normally occurring throughout the year, whether it's a cold, it's a flu. And uh, what about any other, uh, you know, like eyesight and things of that nature? Vitamin A is loaded with vitamin A. There's a study recently in Africa where they were using it, you know, for the vitamin A content of it. And it was unbelievable. And like I said, I hate to quote studies because I read them, I love them. I try to upload them to my Facebook page and to my website so everybody can read it, you know, directly from the folks who did the study. But vitamin A, mm-hmm. it's loaded with vitamin A, and it's, they've had great, great success using Moringa Olifero for that. Now, you also said it increases your metabolism. It does. The, the 7 and one collard green smoothie, smoothie we, had, we received so many... Uh, the team, you know, they would get emails about, well, well, how do I use it in a smoothie? And I thought, you know, use it in everything. But we said we had to create the 7-in-1 collard green smoothie, particularly for, for folks who are trying to lose weight, but it's just overall general health. Mm. You put it in there, and it's so nutrient dense that one smoothie will go you. I mean, you won't want food from 8 in the morning when you drink it till 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You have no desire for food, but it has all your nutritional content in that smoothie that you would need. How much? A teaspoon a day? What, what, what's the dose? We say just put one scoop. Just okay. one scoop. It's, we call it the 7-in-1 collard green smoothie. We, you just need one scoop in there. Wow. All right. And so it goes on everything. All right. Yeah. Once you get it in the shelves, are you, are you talking to any of the people, the, you know, the normal retailers where that, would, that would carry this already? Or, or yes. You? Yes. Okay. We are. What, we are. What are some of the hoops you've got to run through to get this thing on the shelves? You know, you... you at this level, we can't afford to do sliding fees and that kind of thing. We're, we're new kids on the block from online to retail. Uh, that's your always, if there's a, a cost prohibitive thing, that's it. Uh, but the, the key to having a great product, getting the word out, wonderful people going to LiveAid, you know, dot com, top right hand, click it on that um, Indiegogo logo to, let, to support us, to show proof of market that people like what we're selling. 
that would go a long, long ways to us getting it on the shelves and accelerating our growth development program. Are you going to do any, uh, you know, dog and pony shows, physical events where you go out and then people can can actually try this, uh, you know, in person? Are, is any of that happening? We we've got things we are looking at um, for sure this summer, um, but that again that takes deep funding. Deep funding. All right. So Indiegogo is where the people need to go to to, yes, to help, yes. help get your company. Show your love to us. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We need your support on because that campaign will, again, proof of market, proof of concept. It will show the, 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 the big, you know, natural food retailer that we have people who, you know, who like us. We're, you know, <laughs> who want our product. That's right. Now, uh, the the next step is to get through the funding, the yes. ten thousand that you're raising, which really in the in the investment world that's like nothing. Yeah. And then that's gonna be able to so your margins must be amazing on this. No, no, not on this Indiegogo campaign. Not not you know. No, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the Moranga blend. Yes, yes. And we have decent margins because we get it from uh you know, import, you know, sent to us from some one or two farms that we, we work currently with, you know, yeah. We we got our own powder that makes a real big difference because it's a it's a nutrient dense powder, it's it's kind of pricey so yeah yeah and we're hands on, right. we're hands on we we we're right there in the contract manufacturing facility wherever we can to help save money we're hands on so yeah. All right, Betty, we've got to go for now, but thanks for coming on to the show and uh, uh, definitely I'm going to get a, get some of this for me. Thank you so much, Michael. And again. You know, share your love, and and you get great gifts and discounts. Just go to LiveAid.com, click on the Indiegogo, and the shipping is free if you if when you order through Indiegogo. The shipping is free. Thanks, Betty. We'll see you soon. All right, thank you. You're welcome, Betty Mitchell, final decision maker, LiveAid Foods, and LiveAid.com is where you go. Coming up next, uh, Tino Bruns. Bronchischiani, she is going to talk to us about Oriental Wines. We'll be right back. 